All right. Hi, my name is Kate Curtin. I am the marketing director over at Deep Cognition. Today I have with me Mahesh and we're just going to be going over artificial intelligence and how it's impacting other sectors of business such as finance. So Mahesh, if you want to just introduce yourself and talk a little bit about your company and what you do there. Okay. Thanks for uh, having me, Kate. Uh, I am co-founder and um, CEO at Kievanos. So our focus is we build analytics product for US uh, stock market. We leverage behavioral finance and artificial intelligence uh, to build solutions for both institutional clients as well as individual investors who are looking to gain some edge, gain a little bit uh, better control over their equity strategies, uh, even to enhance their equity strategies. So that is our core focus at Kievanos. And my role at the company is I oversee mostly the software development part of it. I make sure that, uh, you know, the, the products are getting built on time. Um, you know, we are uh, following the best uh, development practices. Uh, we have a very big R&D team here. And I also uh, work very closely with them uh, to make sure that, you know, we are kind of sticking with our like company goals um, and, and focusing like what is like most important piece of information that we need to research on, like from the R&D side. And as you know, as a, as a startup co-founder, I need to get into marketing strategies sometime even, you know, get on the sales calls. Mm -hmm. So that is part of the, you know, my day-to-day -day routine, but mostly I, I focus on the product side of it, um, help with the research side of it and of, uh, on the marketing as well. Yeah, no, that's that's super interesting. So I know that you're also an artificial intelligence company. So how did you and how did your company get introduced to, you know, this new machine learning type of, you know, technology? Okay, so the way I see uh, the technology is we didn't build a company in order to like, oh, we want to use AI. So let's let's build a company around it. So we took a, the other approach. So we knew what we need to do. We have a problem set and we use AI machine learning as a tool, you know, to, to, to enhance our product, uh, to achieve the goals that we want to do, uh, to gain that competitive edge. So that's how we see it. And I can tell you, I mean, I'm a big believer of it and it works, you know, so, so I can definitely see, say that AI is a very important part of our organization. So how do you think AI is, you know, impacting the financial trading sector as a whole? So inherently this, this uh, sector, financial sector, you know, there's a lot of data. And when you talk about trading, you know, that data just, just multiplies. Uh, you have, you know, uh, the, the trading data, you know, the, the daily pricing uh, of the stocks, then you have news out there that is impacting how the stock moves. Um, then you have uh, just basic economic data of the, you know, let's say United States, uh, the policies and all of that, how it is impacting the company, the sector. Um, and then there is a lot of, you know, all data that you can get um, directly or you may have to build on, on, on your own. So I would say that AI is very, very important. And I am surprised if some bigger organization is not using it because mm -hmm. today you have to have some AI in your company. So I see that as a very, very important piece. No, definitely. And you know, what I think is so great about you and about your company is that not only are you selling this product and selling this you know, to your potential clients, but you're also using it yourself to grow your own you know, your own portfolio and your own stock. So I just think that's super interesting. And we'll definitely put, you know, your YouTube channel in the, in the comments of this, but as yeah, far as the way there's, you're a, actually, using... there's, a, uh, there's a very interesting story behind it. I mean, uh, yeah. honestly, um, if you give me like two minutes uh, to entertain this, uh, you know, in these meetings, when I go to these clients, uh, you know, when I tell someone, Hey, we have built a great product, you know, it works well, you know, you can improve your equity strategies. The first question that I get, do you use it? Like, do you eat your own cooking? And um, I am 
personally, I'm not the uh, you know kind of guy who would go out and share my I guess account details with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I personally decided okay, if I am not using it, then how can I ask someone to trust our data? So I just literally uh, you know as you can see, I created an account, brokerage account. I wanted to show to everybody that hey, I am using our own data to you know um, basically preaching uh, like using my own data for like what I'm preaching uh, to everybody so that's that's a story behind it but but thank you for mentioning that yeah I mean there's really no better proof of concept as a you know a CEO and a co-founder than saying hey I use it for my own finances I'm using you know your own hard-earned money to go out and actually show that the product works so I think that's definitely you know a proof of concept can you explain a little bit more on how exactly the machine learning and the back end works for this product? Yeah, yeah. So, um, um, I mean, again, I can't go into much details. I'm trying to think how I can uh, answer your question while not answering your question. <laughs> Can't give away trade um, secrets. No, I yeah, can't. Yeah, but, 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 you know, I can just uh, talk about in, in, in general. So you have, um, you know, numerical data, a lot of numerical data. Um, then you have company filings, um, you know, all of that where, you know, you have to probably leverage NLP. Um, then you have use cases where you are looking for some anomalies, you know, some outliers, things like that. Uh, for us, our, uh, the, our core, um, I would say, sticking point is like uh, behavioral finance. Um, think of it as finding irrationalities in the market, right? So when everybody is like scared, they have this, this fear, okay, market is tanking, sell, 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 right? Like, mm -hmm. what is that tells you, right? Uh, you, you should focus on not selling at that point of time. I mean, you should focus on when I can get at a low price point, and, and exit at a higher price. And that should be the basic strategy of any trading if you want to make money. But mostly the market follows, like the, goes the opposite, takes the opposite route. So uh, what we have um, uh, researched and built, how we can um, uh, find these irrationalities in the market to identify, I guess, you know, uh, opportunities. So again, you know, you ask a question how we are using it. Uh, we are definitely using it, you know, it's not full end to end solution. We are using AI as, as I said, as a tool in, in some places where it is either creating some alt data that we are using it internally to analyze um, in, in some other ways and, and forms uh, that, you know, you will find. Um, so yeah, I, and I, think too. <laughs> I, I answer your question. <laughs> no, you did, you did. <laughs> And I think this, the really interesting thing about this type of technology is because it's so new, you know, everyone's still learning and, and doing research and trying to, you know, connect with other individuals in the, you know, the AI space, just like we've connected. So how often are you, you know, doing more research and, you know, running ch program changes to your technology? Yeah, so um, like if you're using AI, you know that you have to uh, train your model, you, you know, um, regularly, you need to have that feedback loop. Um, model improvement is very important. So um, we do have processes in place where we are um, having that data strategy that the, how we train our data, make sure that, you know, we are we are training with good data. So that 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 is all there. Uh, you asked about research. Research is again one of those things which is very important to us, very near and dear to us. In fact, you know, um, our core research team, the, it, it's built the way that we encourage them to build, um, test, and fail very fast. So, so unless we are trying different strategies, different you know theories. Um, and of course, you know, we need to have the data ready to test those. Unless we are failing it many times, we are not going to find a, a, a solution that will work, um, that, that is a strong solution out there. So, and in fact, uh, from some of our failures, we have learned that, okay, we, if someone down the line, you know, say, okay, this is how you should do it. We already know that, okay, we have tried that and it doesn't work. So 
things like that. So it's very, very important. R&D is, is part of our core strategy. We invest heavily in R&D. Um, so so it's, it's, it's a very, we are very active in R&D and, and training of data, cleaning of data and so on and so forth. Yeah, and we definitely agree, you know, a, a deep cognition. I mean, we have our community page, which is, you know, really just interacting with those developers, those researchers, people who are using it every day, you know, to potentially benefit them in the future, their their company or their research. So kind of going more into the, the future side, I mean, how do you see AI impacting, you know, the future of, of finance? Okay, so... Um on individual level and on the corporate level. So on individual level, I feel like AI is going to again play a major role, uh, your financial wellness, uh, how you can make better decisions, right? So if there are tools that can provide better guidance or better you know, strategies um, uh, to improve your overall financial wellness, that's, that's gonna be very, very important. Um, uh, tools that can provide more visibility on, for example, um, you know, am I overspending? Because some people doesn't even know like how much they are spending. Like there are apps out there. There's, there's, you know, solutions out there that can just help you with your basic financial management, right? So on the personal level, I, I think it's, it's, it's going to be great. And also on the corporate level, there's going to be a race, you know, um, there's so much data uh, in the companies and the companies are going to compete um, you know, how they can leverage AI to build uh, that competitive advantage over their, uh, you know, competition. So that's going to be very huge. So in, in, in terms of uh, how it's going to impact the industry, it's already impacting and we are going to see a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, work in AI space in fintech industry. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, growth is something that's going to be happening in all sectors, you know, whether it's business or finance or logistics. I think every business is, and business operation is going to see AI being adopted, you know, into their day-to-day -day operations. Um, just to kind of wrap up, you know, I really do appreciate your time. How can individuals or investors get in contact with you and really see that benefit from your product? Okay, so we are planning to launch a, a free pilot program. So our goal is how we can benefit like people out there, which doesn't get access to top notch research that, you know, Goldman's of the world and, you know, uh, big, uh, big companies out there do in house. So we are going to make that available uh, sometime in February. And if someone want to reach out to me, they can, you know, email me at mahesh at kievanos.com or they can go to our website, kievanos.com, connect me, uh, connect with me on the LinkedIn. So as I said that the way I am kind of approaching it is I am a customer service as well. <laughs> if you ask me someone has question, I'm here to answer the question um, to make sure that I get I give that information out. So, Well, I absolutely look forward to that product release in February. And I thank you so much for your time today, Mahesh. Uh, thanks a lot, Kate, for having me. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, bye.